Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I got a question from a buddy of mine a couple weeks ago, and she was asking um, how I felt about being stuck in life, how I felt about uh, being at a point where you don't know whether you're not doing enough to, to have the things that you want and, you know, to grow the things that you're trying to do, hobbies, uh, whether she was not doing enough or whether it's just you know she needed to remain humble and and let things play out the, um when you know when they're supposed to um my thoughts on that uh it's 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 good when you're when you're very anxious in life you know what that shows that shows that that shows that you're 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 pushing for something it shows that you have you have a drive for something to to, um, to achieve something that you're you know you're interested in and not just you know simply doing nothing um so you know a lot of times in life we'll find that things aren't gonna necessarily happen when we want them to i, I actually spoke about this in another video but um you know when it comes to reaching for those things uh something that we're we're trying to achieve a lot of times we can be doing everything that we need to do and we could be putting in a great amount of effort um which is you know of course a good thing that's what you you want to do and that's the only way you can reach what you're trying to reach but um there are sometimes there are certain factors that that we don't necessarily have control over certain factors that at a certain point in time in our life they're going to play out themselves um right after i graduated i really i really thought that i would have a very high paying job i thought that i was going to be taking nice little travel vacations well not necessarily a vacation right after i graduated but you know trips and and being able to 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 send my parents on those sorts of vacations and uh you know show them that i appreciated them and everything it was just a lot of things i thought that i was going to have a nice high paying job and you know be happy right off the bat but you know that wasn't the case that wasn't the case and for me i believe that factor was you know the financial reasons it was i didn't have enough money enough funding to be able to do those things that i wanted to do so the factor was that so rather than you know simply accepting that i started telling myself okay how do i how am i going to get here um i need to be able to have the skills to to get a job that pays well enough that's going to allow me to be able to do those things so uh, that's what you have to do you have to start looking at you can't just stay in the fact that you're not where you want to be or something's not happened that you want to happen you have to start thinking about um okay how am i going to get to the next step you know maybe maybe there's one factor that's holding you back and and you have to identify that also you know that'll help you out mentally that'll help you that'll help keep you on track and help help you assure to yourself that you know you are progressing but you have to identify those next things the the factors that are there that are um a little bit out of your hand well they're in your hand but you know they're more so of a time factor you know you have to to do one thing to get those so along with those factors you have to to uh continue to do things that are progressed towards what you're trying to reach towards um you know there's there's many different routes to to success many different routes to what we're trying to achieve and the things that we're trying to obtain and be able to do there's several different different routes to them um you know there's no one one guaranteed route to success there's no one way to get to what you're trying to get to there there are several ways there are many decisions that you have to make in the process to get there so yeah start identifying those factors and um you know just continue to work and know in your mind what you want to to be able to do is tell yourself you want to be able to know and, and know this 100 percent that you are progressing towards what you're trying to reach that's what you want to know that's what you want to know um that was a big factor for me when if i felt that i wasn't progressing then i felt like i was falling behind and in a way that can be sort of true and it was just that thought that kind of drove me nuts and made me very anxious and made me start to question myself and whether i was doing enough and all these sorts of factors but yeah so you just have to to find the things that are going to to help you get to where you're trying to reach um and identify those factors and, and know each day that you're doing something to progress towards 
what you're trying to reach. And again, like I said, there can be that one factor that is pending, that one factor that can be holding the rest of everything up. But, you know, don't settle for that. Continue to progress, continue to take action, continue to reach for what you're trying to reach for, and uh, you're going to have it. You are going to have it. So, guys, that's all I want to talk about in this video. Um, hope you stick around. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can just email me at atbitoflife at gmail.com, or you can either just comment on the videos. But um, until next time, I'll see you guys later.